Excellency, uh, Mrs. Suzanne Mubarak, First Lady of Egypt, and Your Excellency, Dr. Tariq Kamil, uh, Minister of Communications and, uh, and IT, uh, and Your Excellency, Dr. Hamdan Touré, uh, the Secretary General of the ITU. Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Karim Ramadan. Um, I work for a small software company called Microsoft. Uh, and being the first Egyptian to be on stage, I have to congratulate you, Mrs. Mubarak, on the award. Uh, on behalf of all Egyptians, uh, we should like to congratulate you, Mrs. Mubarak. Africa, and being from uh, Egypt, I think uh, we can all agree that we have our fair share of the world's challenges, um, education, healthcare, uh, closing the digital divide, now we have a climate change, we have a food shortage and inflation. But we can also agree that all these challenges are nothing. They are a drop in the ocean in terms of the challenges that disabled people uh, have every single day doing small daily tasks that we take for granted. And um, at, at Microsoft, we basically, uh, our vision and really our passion is to help people, companies, and governments realize or unleash their potential. And I think this is uh, all the more true and relevant and important uh, for uh, the disabled. And today, we'd like to take the opportunity and to show you some of the capabilities that ICT can have in terms of uh, the, uh, the disabled and how it can have uh, create a much more fulfilling and fruitful and beneficial uh, life for them. So I would like to introduce uh, that um, uh, to help me show you this uh, great demonstration. First of all, we have Claudio from Quali Life, who is a great partner of ours, who has developed all these solutions that cater to the different um, uh, disabilities that are there. And I would ha like to also introduce uh, Signore Diamante, Mr. Diamante, who is our guest of honor, please, can you please join me on stage? So, with that, I think it's, it's, a, it's a great day for us to be proud in terms of work, working in the ICT industry. Um, you will be amazed at what uh, uh, the software and the technology can do for the disabled. With that, I hand over to Claudio. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you, Diamante. First of all, my name is Claudio Giuliemma. It sounds Italian, but I'm from the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland. That's the reason. Um, I'm president of a very huge company because Microsoft is a small company. Ours is huge. Uh, it's a software company based in Switzerland, and we have dedicated the past uh, almost 10 years uh, in developing assistive technologies uh, for people like Diamante. So we have spent a lot of uh, time trying to find solutions. So um, I would like just to uh, take this uh, opportunity to explain our vision about the problem of accessibility. We have been working uh, with uh, all type of people with disabilities, any type of disability, any age from children to senior uh, elderly people. Uh, in different locations, home use, uh, hospitals, schools, uh, at work. So we have identified what, was, uh, what has to be done to solve the problem. Uh, so we have dedicated a lot of time in uh, developing uh, software, assistive tools, in order to allow uh, people with any ability to access to the technology and use it and benefit out of that. But and more important, we have dedicated a lot of work uh, in trying to convince and work together with the major uh, uh, technology company in order to allow them, help them to create technology that already, uh, starting from the beginning, is fully accessible. So uh, also the work, great work that we have done with Microsoft has started to generate already uh, technology for everyone, starting from the beginning, without the need of developing specific uh, tools for that. Um, the concept of accessibility, uh, just a few words about that. Uh, to who accessibility? So accessibility has to be granted to anyone, regardless of the ability, physical ability, vision, impairment, uh, 
hearing impairment, speech impairment, we have to include all these uh, uh, impairments in order to really solve the problem of accessibility. Another um, important point is where, the location. So we need to grant accessibility to technology to people at home, home users, in the healthcare for patients in, uh, in rehabilitation centers, uh, in, uh, in clinics, they have to access to the technology as well. <clears throat> as well of, uh, in school, we have to grant the access to education to any child independent of the ability. So we have to grant the access to the technology in order to guarantee uh, the right of uh, education to everyone. As well as home, it's very important to allow the people with disability to uh, get to work and gain their own life and independence and also respect from the community. So it's very important also to uh, provide the technology that is accessible also to allow people with disability to work and be productive with all the positive aspects. So um, I would like to uh, show to you in real life what right now technology can already uh, do for accessibility and not just talk. I like to talk, but it's time probably to see life what uh, we can do. So a very good friend of mine, Diamante Albergati, uh, is paralyzed from neck down. He will tell you the, his personal story and he will show to you uh, what he can do now only with head movements. So uh, he has made the journey directly from north uh, part of Italy and uh, we wanted to thank you for his great effort that he has made for us. So I guess... Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. So, Diamante, now uh, you can see uh, Diamante's screen right now over there. And you see myself over there. Uh, just a few words. This is a standard laptop with the Windows uh, uh, operating system with QualiWorld platform that we have developed in Switzerland. We already have distributed that in uh, 17 different countries. Uh, we have translated into 11 different languages as well. It's very important to localize that. We are using a standard webcam and uh, Mr. Diamante is controlling the computer through head movement. It's the only part of the body that he can control. And you can see now that uh, maybe we can start uh, in uh, write something. Vuoi scrivere qualcosa con scrivi? So now he has uh, opened the word editor with a virtual keyboard, and now he's writing only with head movement. Uh, a ciao, hello, very simple. Now, uh, Mr. Diamante is opening a document that has been uh, prepared in English uh, for you. Unfortunately, he does speak Italian, but no English. first time for uh, Mr. Diamant on stage, so he's quite nervous. Okay. Happy? So uh, this is, uh, if you like to... Uh, My name is Diamant and I am 55 years old. I became quadriplegic due to a work accident in 2002. Before my accident, I was living with my daughter. After my accident, my daughter had to go and live with her aunt and she could only visit me periodically. In 2003, I had to move from my home to a medical residential institute called the Sinfeda Institute in Italy, where I was told I'd have to stay for the rest of my life due to my physical condition. As a result, I had to give up all my hobbies and interests. I started to isolate myself from others and the world around me. In 2005, the Sinfeda Institute was equipped with new computer technology and software provided by Qualilif. My interest in computer technology as a result of the Qualilif system gave me hope and I started to work at the reception desk of the Institute. Right now, my days are concentrated on physical rehabilitation and use of the computer. Specifically, I use a personal laptop with Qualilif and I use my head movements to control the mouse. I am much happier and interested in life and I cannot live without technology anymore. Because of the computer, I have started to communicate remotely by audio calls, SMS and emails. I am looking for a home where I can live by myself and have my daughter back with me. 
My detailed objectives are now to find an interior balance and mental calm in my life, improve my physical situation, renew my relationships with my daughter and friends, and become more independent with advanced technology such as video calls, entertainment, telework, and home automation. I believe I can do all of this because of computers and quality. Now I will show you how I use a computer. Okay, that was uh, an explanation of uh, the Amanda situation. And we are so proud that we have helped uh, the Amanda to get a second chance in his life after the accident. So uh, now uh, we are seeing uh, the browser, so how he can um, serve the net freely without any limitation. So now he's uh, opening up uh, which web browser? Be careful. Uh, the institute in uh, north of Italy where he's actually living, not for a long time because he's going to move to his uh, private home because of technology. Okay, now what we can do? Wait, you did it? Now we go to see just the email application. Now uh, Mr. Diamantin can write, send, receive emails by himself without the need of any third person or help. So then we can close this one and go to uh, the multimedia player. He can uh, play any music he likes that he store in his own computer. And he can uh, entertainment by himself. That's the photo album application, so you can store the picture from the daughter, uh, the vacation he went, uh, and make slide presentation as well. So he can do that all by himself, with just with head movements. That's a friend of Mr. Diamante. Okay. Thanks for the nice music. Uh, then. Diamante has a very good friend uh, called Romina. Is actually, she is actually now in northern Italy waiting for Diamante's call through IP. So by himself you can call, uh, also in video calls, uh, any friends or relatives directly. So let's see if uh, Romina is live. So he can chat and talk through the internet. So now, briefly, um, we go to the, he can run any, uh, watch any DVD film, so he can run his own film, manage it by himself, without the use of remote control or any external device, which is not accessible, unfortunately. So now, uh, we just start the film that he can manage uh, in total independence. So you can close. And uh, to show just the last, um, feature, technology that is fully accessible, which is not the last one, we have 22 different ones available. Uh, you need food. One of the technology was very important for, uh, in order to give more independence, it was uh, home automation technology, in order to control anything that is electrical in your room, home. So to the computer now, uh, Diamant is able to control any electrical device in his house. That's why uh, he's moving back home. And we have just set up two lamps here that now Mr. Diamante is turning on through the computer by himself. And he can control uh, anything, the ventilator, the air conditioning, uh, the heater, whatever that has electricity. Now, uh, 
is turning off everything. So that was a, a quick presentation of what, at this moment, technology can do for people with disabilities. So, thank you, Yvonne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Claudio and uh, Diamante. Uh, we've already started on Arabizing this and getting some uh, good prices for uh, for Egypt from uh, Quali Light. Yeah. Just, just, just three. He said it's three. Thank you.